I am going to be showing you how to sub on some magnets. These magnets are from Heat Transfer Warehouse. I will have them linked down below in case you've never heard of them. So if you want to see how well they subbed, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do Cricut, sublimation, and sewing videos. So if any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and let's just jump into this video. So the magnets come nicely packaged like this. And they're hardboard magnets, so they're which I really like. I prefer these to the like very thin, kind of like flexible ones. And then this is the magnet piece that you would stick to the back. So we're gonna take out all our, all our magnets and just prep them. These feel really nice. They're a good size. They're 2.5 by 2.5 all the way around. I like that they come individually wrapped because if you're going to be selling these and you do just one for one person, then you can individually wrap it, which is really nice. So save your wrapping if you are like selling these or giving them as gifts. So you want to make sure that you make your design a little bit bigger than what they are. You see, so that you can have some plain room and you won't accidentally have like a white border on the outside of it. So you want to just take your hand or take some rubbing alcohol and just clean it. And then you can place it down. And it helps to have your design facing you and then face this down so that you can kind of see where it is landing. And then you can hold it down because it's going to slide and take your tape and just start taping down all the sides. And this is probably something you want to tape down really good because it is kind of slippery. And it will probably shift on the way to the heat press. Now we're going to prep all of our magnets just like that. Okay, so now that we have these all prepped, we can take them to the heat press so that we can sub on them. I'm using Inno Sub Paper, by the way, so I don't need any butcher paper. I'm going to make sure to leave my magnets on the side where I can find them. And let's go to the heat press. Okay, so we're going to put our butcher paper down. We're going to get our magnets. We're going to make sure they haven't shifted. If they have, just reposition them. And put them down with the paper, back side of the paper facing up. And I'm using Inosa paper for this. We're going to get some butcher paper and put that on top as well. And this is just going to protect our heat press. So that sublimation ink does not get on it. You want to adjust your pressure. You should probably do it before. <laughs> and you want to do medium pressure. I'm using Inno soap, so I'm going to do 360 degrees for about 60 seconds. If you have another sublimation paper like a sub or something like that, you might want to do 400 degrees. I'm going to take off our butcher's paper. This, this paper does not bleed through, so I don't have to replace my butcher paper, but you want to... I'm just going to gently lift one corner to kind of see if it's subbed. You can just pull off your paper. Oh, these turned out nice. And you can put it to the side to cool down. And this is how my paper looks, so you can see that's faded, which means that it had good ink release. I'm going to check another one. And I'm just going to rip off that paper. And I'm just going to take off, since those are subbed, I know that these other ones will be subbed too. So I'm just going to rip off the paper. And take off the tape. And you want to put them down to cool down because they are a little bit hot throw out this butcher paper in the bottom because you can see there's ink on it and we don't want to use this again because we don't want that ink to be reactivated. So all we have left is to put the magnetic backing. It looks like this and it has a little paper and all you're going to do is take that off. Pull off that paper. You're going to take your magnets and you're just going to stick it on the back 
and press down. And you're going to just do that for all of them. Just like that. And now you have four beautiful magnets. So I love how these magnets turned out. They're perfect. They're, I like that they're big. They're much bigger than if you remember a few years ago I did. I tried out some magnets from Amazon. So these are much bigger than those. They just, they look so nice. These are a great gift. I love personalized gifts. You guys already know that if you've been watching my channel for a while. So these would make good like Father's Day gifts or... um housewarming gift or Christmas gift like a nice little personalized or just just because gift or little co-worker gift um, these are awesome if you've seen my previous video I did years ago um, you can find it on my channel I did I use six magnets and I made like a puzzle so I sublimated a picture in it and now you can put the magnets together to create a little picture so that's a great idea as well but i love that they come with little baggies so once you finish subbing you can just put them in the bags and you can gift them like that if you're selling them this is a good idea but you can just put it in the bag and give it to the person like that which i really really like they're so cute who doesn't like personalized gifts like we all do so check these out down below they turned out perfect let me know down below if you guys also try them out and thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye guys